We continue our knowledge sharing mission through a series of interviews with marketing leaders from all over the world, and we're so thrilled to have Sherry with us today. Hi, Sherry. Hi, my name is Sherry Bannister. I am the North America marketing lead for BizApps. If you could describe your company in one sentence, how would you do that? Avanade is the leading provider of innovative digital and cloud services, business solution and design led experiences on the Microsoft ecosystem. And we are actually their partner of the year for the 16th time running. Can you describe your role as a business applications marketing lead in one word? I would say multifaceted. Business applications is a solution that really reaches across industry. And there's also multi solutions within this apps. So it's a lot of different pieces and parts and how those things support each of those industries does change within it. So being able to speak to each of those industry segments in a way that speaks to their day to day problems, it's challenging, but also really exciting to be able to create marketing tactics and interactions that really speak to those companies about their particular situations and be able to build a customized solution for them. So the multifaceted part of the marketing side is being able to from each of those industries, solutions, but then also where they are in the sales cycle to really be able to move them forward and with the confidence that we're the right people for them. What current challenges are you facing right now in your role? I think it's also a problem that's always been there, which is how to break through the noise to get your message to the right people. Obviously, without those in-person events, it's a struggle recreating or trying to find ways to build that connection is very difficult using a digital channel all the time. So for us, one of the big things we're constantly thinking about is those other ways to connect with people outside of the digital space. What are those other ways? And there are ways, I personally think that direct mail something you get in the mail. That's actually a way you can almost in a way, you know, have that handshake because it is something textural. It's something you can feel and touch and hold in your hand and put in your house. So I think that being able to find those connection points outside of the box, there's a necessity to that. But finding ways to integrate both of those things together is always the challenge. What marketing trends are you taking advantage of right now? video is king or queen. So we definitely are looking to explore a lot more of that, how to allow people to engage with us by their own hand, if you will. The great thing about video and especially YouTube is that you can, as a viewer, decide your journey. You can click around, you can date, if you will, and see what maybe relates best to you. And you can come back to things, you can share things. So for us, video is definitely it's not necessarily a new trend at all. But from the digital side, that is something that will be expanding and kind of following the path of the series idea, which was the events that we did we find that being able to kind of brand an event series is really effective within the greater brand of your business. So taking that idea and bringing it to the video side is something that we'll be doing this year. What sort of career advice would you share with someone who has a similar role to yourself? For me, what I think has been most successful in my career is innovation, the willingness to fail. And so to be a little fearless on taking new ideas, we cannot abandon our creativity because nobody got into marketing to do spreadsheet. We're there because we want the creativity that goes with the strategy. And that's the really exciting part. It's that problem solving and human connection that you're really trying to build through various tactics embracing change, having endless curiosity to what you do, the world around you, finding new ways to develop things and develop your craft, develop your mind. For all my female counterparts, I would say don't be afraid to lead. Don't be afraid to be a leader. I think that that is often against our nature that we have been programmed to believe, but always go into leadership with confidence and it will serve you well. 
You have to work really hard and be fearless in the leadership roles because we need to get up there so that we can bring up the young women that are coming up behind us and encourage everyone to really reach the potential that they have without feeling like they have barriers to how high they can go. That brings us to a close. Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. It was super fun.